You know, this, the thing is, I love him so much more now than I did on that day. You know, people always say that the uh, wedding day will be the happiest day of your life. No, that's just the beginning. My name is Carolyn Palakis, and I am a caregiver for my husband, Larry. Larry was born with Klippel-Feil syndrome, which is a genetic group of bony spine malformations that pinch and cut into the spinal cord. He also, we believe, has Alzheimer's disease. We haven't received that diagnosis yet. We know he has dementia. He was a researcher at St. Jude's uh, Children's Research Hospital, and that's where he had his first onset of symptoms of the clipophile, causing him to stop typing with his left hand. And he had his first surgery. Well, then he went to work at Frist Massey Institute in Nashville, took a job there, but when his symptoms came back and were much worse than ever, he wanted the same neurosurgeon in Memphis, and so he went to Memphis, and that's where we met. After our marriage, we lived for one year in Nashville, and then he came up here to take a job in Iowa. I received my bachelor's degree in, and my doctor of philosophy degree in, in radiation biology, where I use radiation to study the health of organisms, uh, radio protectors, anything to do with radiation. But then eventually I came back to the University of Iowa and was there until I retired. As a neuroscience nurse, I find it interesting that of all the, the symptoms of dementia I had ever read or studied about or heard about or seen in other people, Hallucinations just doesn't often make the list. I have been with many patients who had delirium. I have been with many patients who had dementia and I could tolerate it because that was a 12 hour shift and I was not in love with those people. But this is very hard. It's as if I am losing half of my mind. If the two become one flesh, one person, this is like I'm losing half of myself. And then I feel guilty because of course he's losing all of himself. And I really feel like I shouldn't complain. And I know, I know it's inevitable and I know it's the disease and I know it isn't him. I know that. With all my heart, I know that. It's breaking my heart and it's scaring me because I don't know who I am without Larry. I don't know who I am without him. And I'm losing him. I'm losing him by bits and pieces. He had the finest mind the finest mind. And it's very sad. And there are times when I feel like I am grieving. I'm grieving the loss of his person, changes in his personality, not the loss of his personality, but his changing. And I'm grieving that he sees people that are not there. To me, that says he's losing his mind. It was his mind I fell in love with. I met Carolyn and Larry through our options counseling program. And we kind of just talked about what their needs are as a couple and how I can best support them. But the biggest thing Madeline did for me was to sit and listen. 
I will follow up with Carolyn, do some emotional support calls and check in to see how things are going and provide them with any other support that they might need. And she has no idea how much that means to us. Just to have somebody check in with a phone call every so often. How are you doing? Are you hanging in there? Do you need anything? I think it's hard for a lot of caregivers to find those resources and get connected, um, whether it's just fear in general of reaching out and asking for help, um, but there's definitely resources that are available to caregivers and their loved ones. They just have to maybe reach out to the Area Agency on Aging to find those answers. That is a disease which is slow with some people faster than others, and I just am glad that I have my wife to be there next to me to help me. I sometimes drive her nuts, but then sometimes she drives me nuts, so I guess it's equal. God sent her down here for a reason. Go home, and if you're married, go home and, and embrace your wives and say, I love you, I'm glad we're married.